Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to modify the governor on a TH400 to raise the shift point. This is the governor case. Remove these four bolts. Alright, once you have the bolts out, this cover just comes off. like this. This is the governor. It just slides out. It'll spin and slide. Ugh. And these are your weights. These are the outer weights. These are the inner weights in here. You uh, knock these pins out pull the weights off and uh, I'll do that and get back with you. Okay once the pins are out it just all slides apart. Pay attention how it is. It comes apart so you can put it back together and then the more metal you take off of these the higher it will shift. Alright here's the weights out of the governor for the TH400 and uh, you can see these have holes some of them are solid the less weight they are the higher they'll shift so I'm going to take some material off these to lighten them up raise my shift points and these are the springs these are the inner weights I'm going to take some weight off of these two you can see I already have raised them from where they were stock. This transmission's out of a RV. So it shift at like four thousand RPMs. So I'll just use the grinder and remove some of this material off of here. There, move some more material, made it thinner. Mostly in the bottom because that's where the leverage from where it opens and closes. The bottom will be the make the biggest difference. Okay, as you can see, I grinded it down, moved material to make it lighter. This is the one I grinded. This one's still stock. Like I said before, the lighter they are, the higher it will shift. Alright, I removed all the material I'm going to from the outer weights. With these. Now I'm removing a little more from these inner weights that go inside. Alright, I have removed some material from the inner weights, as you can see. So I'm going to throw it back together. I also use 6D nails. You can get from hardware store for pens because you have to grind the stock ones out. Okay, here it is finished with all the material cut off, as you can see. Everything should move freely. When you're done, pins back in, and hopefully we'll have uh, at least a few hundred RPM higher shift points.